Hello listeners, this video is on Martha Quest, written by British writer Doris Lessing. The novel was published in the year 1952 and it is the second novel of Doris Lessing. The novel is the first of the five volume semi-autobiographical series. The name of the series is Children of Violence. These series traces Martha Quest's life to middle age and the other volumes included in this series are A Proper Marriage 1954, A Ripple from the Strong 1958, Landlocked 1965 and The Four Gated City 1969. Let us know about the author Doris May Lessing born in the year 1919 and died in the year 2013. She was a British Zimbabwean novelist. Lessing lived in Iran till the year 1925 because her parents were living in Iran but their nativity belonged to British. Lessing was awarded Nobel Prize in Literature in the year 2007 and in the year 2001 she was awarded the David Colon Prize for a lifetime's achievement in British literature. Let us now see an overview of the novel Martha Quest. As I said, the novel follows the life of Martha Quest to her middle age. The novel belongs to a series of semi-autobiography which has five volumes and this novel is the first of it. The whole series of novel have a subtitle called The Children of Violence. The entire period of the series spans from 1934 to 1938 which takes place in southern Rhodesia, now it is called as Zimbabwe, which is a former British colony in southern Africa. Lessing was living there in the same spot between 1925 to 1949. The reason of she writing this novel is she has experienced a troubled adolescence. She was brought up in a war scenario, a period of world war, Similarly, her character Martha Crest also disjoins from the grand history of humans. She also portrays the tribal social events of their lives. As the novel begins, Martha is 15 years old. They live in an improvised African farm. She is a passionate girl who shows interest to gain knowledge and to acquire experience. She has a conventional narrowness about her home life. When she grows, she becomes a typist in the provincial capital where she encounters the real life. At that point in time, she tries to learn and understand things in life. An English novelist named C.P. Snow, he reviews the novel Martha Quest. He has described Doris Lessing as one of the most powerful equipped young novelists now writing. This is an autobiographical novel where it draws the childhood memories and the serious engagement with politics and social concerns. So all these were the experiences of Doris Lessing and the whole story emerges out of Lessing's experience in Africa. The whole story is set in Africa. So this was a place where Lessing started to publish her works during the 50s and early 60s. In all her works, she has decried the dispossession of black Africans by white colonials and she has experienced the sterilized of the white culture in southern Africa. And due to her courageous outspokenness in the year 1956, she was declared as a prohibited alien in both South Rhodesia and South Africa. Let us see the characters of this novel, Martha Quest. She is a girl of 15 years old. Mrs. Quest is the mother of Martha. Mrs. Van Rensburg, she is a woman who Mrs. Quest always sits and gossips with. They both accompany each other and talk about others. Next is Mr. Quest, who is the father of Martha. Mr. Van Rensburg, 
who's the husband of Mrs. Van Rensburg. The Colin boys. These Colin boys lends their book to Martha Quest at the station. Marnie. Marnie is the daughter of Mrs. Van Rensburg. She is of the same age of Martha. Marnie wears clothes which is not suitable for her body. She wears grown-up clothes with lipstick at the age of 15. She talks with boys. Mrs. Quest does not like her. And Marnie admires Martha. Marnie, when she was only 16, she talks about Stephen's wedding to Martha. Marnie also had a wish of getting a right man the next year when she turns 17, just like Stephen. Joss Cohen, who has a likeness toward economics and sociology. Solly Cohen, who likes psychology. Let us see the summary of the novel. The novel begins as Martha is only 15 years old. And her parents living on a destitute African farm. Martha is a keen observer in the farm. Early in her life, she begins to notice an incongruity, meaning she tries to observe how people talk and how they act. From all her observation of the external world, she feels that she is severely unhappy. In response to her unhappiness, Martha seeks to read out literature books where she can ooze out her despair. She often borrows books from two erudite Jews who live nearby. By reading books, Martha tries to build and develop her philosophy of the way the world works as she was facing the disquietening events that occurs in her life. Though Martha lives in Africa, she is a British descent living in Africa. So she lives in 20th century. Even in 20th century, she faces issues of race, class and women's rights. As the novel begins in the opening scene, Martha is trying to read something along with her mother. Her mother, besides her, speaks with a Dutch woman who is from the African's colonies. And when they communicate, the entire encounter is phony. Phony means words that are formed with nouns that corresponds to words that ends in phone. Phony means a word which is not real or genuine. I hope you understood. The communication between them is represented as real, but actually it is false. Because the two women, they do not know each other earlier and they are not friends. Martha's mother looks at the Dutch women as inferior to her and in a discriminatory thought. Because the woman prides herself on having her two daughters who are married. Meanwhile, hearing this, Martha's mother also has a belief that Martha should have a career by herself. Now, as the two women speak, Martha is sitting there reading her book. She is annoyed by the interruption caused for her reading. She notices their hypocrisy and reasons the fact that they talk about her as though she is not there. Martha, after encountering the conversation of the two women, she hates them and the way they communicate about their persons. Because the Dutch woman is concerned of marriage and her mother is concerned of her career growth and marriage life. Martha, who is fed up with her confining parents, as well as the talks about school and marriage. Martha is worried and wanted to break free of her situations and she wanted to know the space to figure out who she is. She also tries to move away from her mother's insistence on Edwardian upbringing and her father's imprisonment about the memories of World War I. Martha, who wants to flee from her parents, she tries to make her own prospects of her future life 
she decides to leave her rural community and moves to a fictional city located nearby Zambezia, South Africa. Now, Martha Quest being a narrator, she began working as an assistant at a lawyer's office. Although Martha feels worried about her fear of personal and historical entrapment, she tries to explore and have self-actualization through romantic encounters that causes Martha to make a series of poor choices in her life. She eventually ends up to allow Jewish musician named Adolf, he is otherwise called as Dolly, to come into her life and he becomes her first sexual partner. Through her introspection for several times, Martha confesses to Adolf that she is not really attracted toward him and affirms that he is acutely worthy due to the anti-Semitism that he is subjected to. Anti-Semitism means an unfair treatment of Jewish people. Expressing this, she is free from Adolf for almost two years and her independent life for first two years finds Martha to live with a group of reckless white quasi adults all of whom are from a variety of backgrounds. She spends almost of her time working and partying with her friends at local restaurants. Martha occasionally is interrupted by her conventional family thoughts because she is almost influenced by her social structure of her community, but she opposes it to become a new and a better person which is more in control to be different than from her mother. As the world moved towards World War II, Martha begins dating a civil servant named Douglas who is many years older than her. All Martha's friends are either married or they are heading towards pregnancy. When Martha is 19 years old, at this point, she finds herself swept with the sentiment that is going around because among her friends, some are married and some are in pregnancy mode. She is influenced by all this. Having her relationship with Douglas, a civil servant, she wants to legitimize their relationship and wanted him to marry her. And after the marriage, Martha is astonished by her own inconsistency. She describes feeling as though she is half a dozen completely distant in the life that she is living because she feels that she is somewhere stuck in with her communal thoughts. She thinks that she could not fit in in the marriage life with Douglas as though she feels anonymous and shapeless just like water. As the novel ends, Martha tries to convince herself that her general feeling towards Douglas could be only considered as love and not purely sexual desire. At the corner of the instinct, she hears a voice that says that the marriage is doomed to fail before it's too long. In this story, we could analyze that Martha, who seems to be an intelligent, sensitive, and a fiercely passionate woman who is at the age of 15 living in Africa. She goes through the torments of adolescence and early womanhood. She is raised in a narrow provincial community in Central Africa and she is the daughter of colonial parents committed to the old way. She turns her love for literature just like the earlier generation turned towards religion. The whole life of Martha Quest is under shocks and confusions because there was rapid succession of violation, involvement in drinking and parties and not having a proper marriage, immediate pregnancy around her circle and getting a young husband who's off to war 
and certain self realization that she is no more autonomous than her parents from the character of martha quest we could analyze that she is a true daughter of the war century because that was a time where the conflict between the generation reflects the conflict between old systems and new also with ascending nations and races the character of martha also demonstrates the personal history that mirrors the convulsions part freedom and its tragic failures and deep despair which relentlessly determines to understand life and to discover a way to live hope this video helps if you have query please write it down thank you for listening